Uh, realistic expectations for Rodgers this season? It's more likely it's his last year than that he has more. Also, those, I know it's small print, but those AFC East odds, it's depressing for Pats fans. Sorry, Wilds. Um, but that's ludicrous. The idea, so if you can't see it, it says Buffalo plus 130, Miami plus 190, and oh, the Jets right close. behind them at plus 290. Give me a break. This Jets team stinks. They don't have a good, best I can tell, coach. I, I don't have a lot of reason to believe they have a good front office. And Aaron Rodgers' last great game, do you remember when we were talking about the Cowboys playing the Packers? And Mike McCarthy and his opportunity. Oh, yeah. That was Aaron Rodgers' last great game. Think about that. I mean, it was November of tw- I'm sorry, that was November of 22. His last really good season was when Mac Jones made the Pro Bowl. Oh, hello. And That's not second that long. in MVP That's not voting that long, brew no. was Tom Brady that season. Like I I I don't buy the 40-year-old coming off the pop to Achilles is about to play an extended stretch. And I don't buy that the Jets are getting a great quarterback back. They are getting back a quarterback that once was great and has not been great in since 2021, and it will be the 2024 season. Like, that's – I don't think that's controversial. Look, I, 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 I talked myself into believing in Aaron Rodgers last year. Yeah. Now, who knows how that would have went had he not gotten hurt. But I, it is hard to expect him to come in next year. He's – now, what, two full seasons removed from playing great football. Yeah. And I do if, – if he – I think their defense obviously is good. Garrett Wilson is good. They, you know, they got some decent skill defense position is fine. players. The defense is the most overrated defense. No, but it's – It's fine. Don't we, let your Patriots – you No, we got the out Jets. there preseason like they got a great defense. Does the great defense number? They had no up? offensive help last year. Okay, that's All fine. Right. I mean, it's a good defense. I'm just saying if he was 80% of what he was in his last MVP year – they could oh, be okay. Sure. I don't think you'll be there. I think just... I'm more with Nick in that what's realistic is that this is probably his last year. He goes out, he's okay, and they don't make the playoffs, and then he hangs it up. Uh, That's what's most realistic. Uh, uh, also, I don't – while some of you agree, I think it is totally fair to also have a more skeptical look at his last healthy season, which was his last year in Green Bay, now that we have seen the Packers – Last year, like okay. the, the, the Packers last year had better quarterback play. They were, yeah, they were better on, and I understand they're a young team, so the guys there's a lot of factors. Well, Rodgers didn't get those guys a chance. Right. And so the the question I would have is, what it is if he had popped his Achilles post MVP, then it'd be like, hey, we have no reason to believe is if it's successful recovery that he can't get back to that level. We saw. A full year of football from Aaron Rodgers yeah. on a team that we now know was good enough to compete at least a year later. And he was not good. He was fine. He wasn't bad in 2022. He was fine. What is the logical argument that that player is going to be better than he was the last time he was healthy? I agree with that. I, I just don't. I I'm, think narrative-wise, everyone wants to follow the Tom Brady story. People have sold themselves on that. The coach yeah, of the right. franchise that he was with kind of got tired of him, sold him short, but he had more on the tank, and he can lead us to the promised land. But the truth might be more like Russell Wilson, Super Bowl winning quarterback. The coach kind of got tired of him. He got tired of there. He went somewhere new, and You're it right. didn't work. You're right. So I, I think they, the Jets want it, it to be the Tom Brady story, but it might be the Russell Wilson story. Also, right. the year Tom's last year in New England, they made the playoffs. They won, right, he du- never was they won double-digit games. Yeah. They, now they lost disappointingly in the first round in Tennessee. And then the first year without him, they were below 500 for the first time in 15 years, and Tom won the Super Bowl. Aaron's last year in Green Bay, mm-hmm. they lost a home game in the final game of the year to miss the playoffs. The team then, without him, got back to the playoffs, won a playoff game, made it as far as Aaron has made in the playoffs or won as many playoff games as Aaron has made in a year in like five years. And Aaron popped his Achilles four plays into the season. These stories are not the same. The trajectories are not the same. And the players historically have never been the same. Wilde said to me today before the show, he's like, I have a new impersonation. It's usually the nerd voice, but now I've got to do it. Oh, I thought that wasn't you doing me. You always said that. Um, All right, Wilde, I'll be you, you be me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Would sign and Saquon get Philly closer to the Super Bowl? No. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> that's that's so quiet. Uh, very good. That, that's, that's very no, good. listen, <laughs> bro, good. you, I mean, you watched Philly closely last year because yeah. if people forget, yeah. they were your pick to win the NFC you and win the, the Super Bowl the whole <laughs> thing. Uh, <laughs> ten toes down and all of it. At any point when you were watching their whole entire year fall apart, were you, like, running back away? Like, this is what they need. Well, you're right. Like, look, would signing Saquon be a, a good move if he's healthy? Sure, he's fine. Running back's not been their problem. No. DeAndre Swift was good last yeah. year. Now, Saquon, we know, is a really high-character guy. Would he mesh with Jalen? Yeah, that'd probably be good. But DeAndre Swift statistically was better than Saquon last year. The year before that, Miles Sanders were fine. Like, They've had a strong run game. So that's not the problem. They need to spend all that money on defense. Yes. And then find somebody, might not be a big name, but can be effective for you out of the backfield. That, no, that's exactly right. They, the money needs to be spent on the back seven of their defense. All of their focus needs to be spent on their linebackers, corners, and safeties. Yep. And by the way, so like I know it's not as big of a name, but it's a better player. He's a better player, I should say. It, you know, Philly could be a game changer for them. Justin Simmons, the player Denver just cut. Now, he's yep. not cheap, but Howie Roseman's good yeah. at making those yep. things work. That would be a position of need. Now, but I also want to make this clear. I don't it, – just because I'm down on contenders spending big on running backs, I don't th – except for Christian McCaffrey – I don't think Saquon is, you know, unable to help anybody. If I were Houston or Chicago, like him in Houston. that would be – or a young quarterback. So they didn't have a great quarterback. Win. Chicago's to, really smart. Yeah, it, to me, like, it, give Caleb all the opportunities to do well. Or two teams that have – well, one team, I guess, that has a veteran quarterback and one team that might, that I actually be like, okay, I think that might make sense. Arizona or Minnesota. I would at least call him. Minnesota, almost no matter what my quarterback, if I draft a guy or re-sign Kirk, I would at least consider it. But Philly, to me, is supposed to be close but needs a ton of help on the right. other side of the ball. Absolutely. I feel the same way about Dallas. Dallas is close, needs a lot of help, and specific help on the other side of the ball. Mm -hmm. So Saquon would not be my target. Yeah, I'm not sure. About, I like Max. I'm not sure the. We're not being malicious. We play with ill intent and violence. I okay. get it. I, Go ahead. Your reaction. I, I love it. You love, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a violent sport. Now you're not trying to hurt. I'm. I'm sure he does not want to hurt Patrick Mahomes. No. But you are trying to hit somebody, whoever it is, as hard as you can. That's called football. And and every defender, I'm sure, that's their mentality. And if it, if you, that's football. That's let's pull back the curtain. All right, we want to make it all touch and seven on seven. I don't think anyone is arguing to make it touch football. So he's wrong for saying we come with no, violence. No, I, no. <laughs> Ill intent if no. you want to take that to say he means, oh, no. they want to hurt him. He's wrong for talking a mumbling word about a team that's beat him eight of the last well, 10 Well, I'm times. shocked. Oh. The, the well, board, the board. The, where's the board? Dusty you know what? Friday I, board. I thought about that. Where's the and board? I was like, you know what? I don't even know if it, they deserve it. Oh, no. I don't, you, you think the only not, thing worse the, than the, being on the board is not being, being on the board. Not being oh, beneath oh, the board. Exactly. Oh, right. like, give me, oh, I, 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 listen, the, the Raiders, since Max Crosby's been in the league, have beaten the Chiefs two times. The first time they did it, it was such a big deal. They took victory laps around Arrowhead. Then they lost for four straight years. And then the next time they did it, it propelled the Chiefs to win a Super Bowl in their stadium. Yeah, that's true. And now Antonio Pierce is talking about having the Mahomes <laughs> rules. And Max Crosby's <laughs> talking all this nonsense. When this team, amazing. I mean, they bully for them that they're only 12-1 to 1 to win the division. And by the way, speak of insulting odds. The Chiefs only being minus 250 to win the AFC West. America, if you have a quarter of a million dollars sitting around and you want to win 100000 there's no better bet to make than that one right there. But give me a break. Give me a break. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.